Welcome to Gertrude Square in San Francisco, the place you can find the famous ice cream and chocolate. Guys, let's find out how this place becomes so popular for tourists and locals as well. First, Gerdale Square is a retail and dining complex. There are shops and restaurants, but it's originally a chocolate factory before. It is the landmark public square and first successful adaptive reuse project in the country. Formerly the Pioneer Woolen Mill, then again Gerdale Chocolate Factory na. Let's go around the block. Ito yung fabulous mermaid fountain with frogs and turtles, my baby pa. It serves as a meeting place for many people who are meeting at the square. It's true. Madali kasing sabihin, hey, kita-kits sa, ma sa mermaid fountain kasi nasa gitna ito ng... Um, block. Ito naman ang Wallin Mill Building, one of the oldest brick buildings in San Francisco. When the Gerdale Sons bought this block and converted into chocolate making, and this area turned into a major business. All the chocolates are made here, from Coco Building and Mustard Building. Actually, the Mustard Building process the mustard cold Gertily Pioneer Dry Mustard. Unfortunately, it's been out for so long, so we can have not tried it. This building was the apartment house where the day and night managers live on site plus all the employees. The employers or the owner treated their employees very well. Dapat naman ganun upang mas creative at ganadong magtrabaho ang mga tao, di ba? And the Fairmont Heritage Place is a fractional vacation home and a hotel room as well. The main function is primarily function for one, two, or three bedroom suite. You can have a gorgeous view of the bay, Alcatraz Island, and all the piers. Mini is an amazing place to stay when you are in San Francisco. My video games area sa second level na siguradong mag enjoy mga kabataan pag nagbakasyon dito. In 1995, they started to celebrate about the Gerard Trelle Chocolate Festival annually. It falls every September, but sarado nung pandemic. So, balit, nag-check tayo when we saw the information booth, baka meron na this year. Since we have enjoyed some level of normalcy now, as of the time that we inquired, they don't have any schedule yet about the festival. And what we observe here, there are some entertainers within the block like this which can add some good vibes in the ambience. He sings all songs very well. The huge clock tower was built in 1915 in honor of California pioneer Domingo Gerdelli. So this is the historical marker or the significant historical year as listed in this topic list. Notable, notable buildings. Guys, more or less, yan lahat ang makikita for this block when you visit here. But how's this marketplace so popular? Mm -hmm. Looking back, the Gerdelli Chocolate Factory has changed many different names from Pioneer Woolen Mill to Gerdelli Chocolate Factory and now Gerdelli Square. Reason, iba't ibang nagmamayari nito. Hanggang sa dumating ang panahon na binili ng Swiss Chocolate Owner, ang Lint and Sprongly or Sprongly in 1998. Noon pa man, like in the year 1852, 
leading chocolate manufacturers ito sa United States at nagkaroon sila ng sampung outlets factory sa US at naging world recognized brand with a successful retail and wholesale business like meron silang candy squares, chocolate bars at ng Girl Daily Brand Baking Chocolate and Cocoa in Store. Ang Girl Daily ay Italian name, so hindi from America, of course. Ang founder nito ay ipinanganak sa Italy. Siya ay si Domenico Girl Daily na born sa Rapallo, Italy noong 1817, kung saan dito niya natapos ang apprenticeship for confectionery business bago sila umalis for Uruguay with his wife sa edad na 20. He worked as a chocolate factory at sa coffee trade. Before they moved to Lima, Peru, na nagbukas siya with his own business, ang first chocolate and confectionery shop sa Lima. Dahil kay James Lee, isa niyang kaibigan, na nagdala ng 600 pounds lang ha, na chocolate sa California at sabi niya madaling naubos ito at nagsuggest nga ito kay Domenico na mag-open siya sa California. So, nung 1849, nag-head over si Domenico sa San Francisco at ibinenta niya ito sa mga miner who appeared appeared for the gold rush. Nabubulo tayo. Gold rush again. Well, ang first, gen- first general store niya ay located sa Battery on Broadway Street's corner ito. Meron din siyang sa Kearney and Washington Street at kung tawagin ay Gerard Daly and Gerard isusulat kayang spelling kasi magkaiba. At tawagin uli ng Gerard Daly Chocolate Factory. Chocolate. For now, 170 years in operation na at ito ang sinasabing the oldest continuously run chocolate factory in the U.S. Wow! In 1893 naman daw, Girardelli Chocolate Company purchased the Pioneer Woolen Building. Ito na yung modern day location ng Girardelli Square na tinatayuan natin ngayon. Tagal na rin. In 1906, siyempre, ito yung pinakamalakas na lindol na tumama sa San Francisco. Pero after 10 days, nagbukas ulit sila for business. Noong 1923, yung signage or Gerdelli sign ay naging landmark na on the square. So, in 1962 naman, ibininta uli ito sa grupo ng mga San Franciscans. Marami tuloy ang nangamba na baka sisirain na ito. Subalit taliwa sa iniisip nila dahil naging commercial area na ito. At preserve pa rin ang Victorian character ng design nito. Natigil nga pala ang paggawa ng chocolate rito in 1963 at inilipat ito sa San Leandro in California under the new owner, Golden Grain Company. Pero may maliit na area dito na gumagawa pa rin sila ng chocolate. Ito yun. This is how they cook an ice cream or make an ice cream of chocolate. But we asked Gilberto to film the scenes. Mabait nga siya at okay lang daw yun para detalye nga raw yung paggawa natin ng vlog for Dear Jelly Chocolate. How many minutes are we gonna do that? An hour? I have to pull this like uh, one hour. One hour then is... You get ready, everything ready. Ready to eat. Ready to sell. Yeah. Wow. No problem nga raw sa kanya kahit kasama siya sa video while filming it. Okay lang daw yun. Diyan to San Leandro. Oh, like, since when? It's like, been a long time. Like, uh, around 80s, 60s, they moved to San Leandro. Oh. Yeah, they the original store. Factory. Oh. The hospital was the factory. Oh. When the company started 1852. Mm-hmm. We close on the pandemic. Ah, we, just, we just opened last year, like May. May last year, we just May. opened. So after the vaccination? Yeah, after oh. everything, but normal vaccination. Yeah, we just opened, we got like a May, like 10 months. Oh. We opened up only the business days on weekends, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Oh. Because there is no tourist, no like, tourists. Yeah. No, like a local no, tourist. Go, um, right now it's okay now because beginning very slow mm-hmm. almost 22 it's a 2001 mm-hmm.
Wow, tagal na noon. More than two decades na siya nag-work sa Gear Jelly Chocolate. Malamang maganda ang benepisyo. Oh, sabi ni Gilberto, limang boxes na ganyan at yung sa cooking big casserole at mix uh, 30 parang boxes with 10 pounds each. Gumagawa rin sila ng apang. Uh, ito yung special apa nila. Of course, we need to try the famous ice cream and chocolate. Let's go inside. We tried world famous hot fudge, shandy, and gold rush. Madalas nakakonek ang gold rush sa mga tourist spots. After we tried the ice cream plus coffee combination nila, we took some videos for the chocolate processing. But Sunday, what gold rush? Do you want to sit here? Take it off. Sit. I have 48 right down there, please. <laughs> Lumang makina ng paggawa ng chocolate dito sa loob at ito naman yung isa sa mga entrance sa block papasok siya dyan and then ito rin yung exit ang dami kasing exit at saka entrance dito sa Jerdale Square Friends, nandito tayo sa harapan ng Gertelli. The bay has a beautiful scenic view. And thank you very much guys for being with us when exploring this amazing Gertelli Square. And we learn also that the place is not only for shopping but you can even stay here in their 5-star hotel, the Fairmont Heritage Place Hotel. Once again, salamat mabuhay tayong lahat. Guys, wait a minute. Ilang beses din kaming pumunta sa Gerard Telly na ganito ka-fag. This is our last to go there bago nabuo ang vlog na ito. Also, I share ko lang itong article ni Janelle Bitker na ang sabi, San Francisco Gerard Telly Square is turning into a hub for local food. Yun nga raw, can it shed its tourist reputation? Wow! Baka mawala na yung essence ng history about the chocolate and ice cream dahil magiging kainan na ito. For more details, click the link below. Thank you again, guys. See you in my next video. Bye for now.